Hey guys, it's Ryder, aka The Survival Game, coming to you from beautiful, sunny southern Utah. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to sanitize anything from a 55 gallon drum to a 10 gallon drum. Let's take a look at what I mean when I say sanitize. When I say sanitize, I mean cleaning out the inside of these barrels, uh, either if they're dirty or they have already have chemicals in them, just cleaning them out so you can put store water in them and store them for an emergency. If you don't already have 55 gallon drums or 10 gallon drums or 5 gallon drums or whatever I suggest that you get some the reasoning is for storing water and the reason you want to store water is because in the event of an earthquake or other natural natural disaster a nuclear something something you're more than likely not going to be able to have running tap water so it's best to have stored water first thing you want to do either if you've just bought them they're brand new or if they've been sitting a while you want to fill them up about a fourth of the way with water, just water, close them back up and splash them around to get all the any dirt or grime that's in there. Once you've washed these barrels out with just water, you want to dump that water out and then fill the barrels up about a fourth of the way and add in about one cup of bleach to each barrel. This information I got off of www.iwillsurvive.com so go and check them out once you've got them filled and have a cup of bleach in them you just close them back up and you roll them around kick them around you can have your uh, your kids play with them for a couple hours or so and then after you have it all coated on the inside and the top of the lid you want to let it sit overnight and just stew there. Mine have already been sitting out overnight and I've already put bleach and water in them. So I'm just gonna coat them real quick and then I'll show you the next step. Once you've coated them and you've let them sit overnight and played with them and stuff, you wanna dump out that mixture of bleach and water and you want to dump it out somewhere you're not going to want to grow plants later and you're not going to want to <laughs> really do anything there like an old patch of dirt that you don't want anymore. And be sure that your dog or your cat or your chickens or any animals you have don't come up and drink that up or else it'll it'll get them really sick because of that bleach in there. Then you want to take your hose and you want to fill up your barrel again about a fourth of the way. And then once you have that filled up, you're going to add in a little bit of Dawn dish soap and take all those chemicals out of there. And you want to do this over and over until you get that bleach smell out of, or any other chemical smell out of this barrel. And you want to clean and clean and clean as much as you can so there's nothing left inside but just clean water. Then you want to dump them in the same spot after you've played with them. Same spot that you had your bleach water. Oh, and make sure you use the Nature Safe Dawn biodegradable dawn what is it called it's still got some bubbles from the soap oh did you see that it's still got bubbles from the soap so 
So you wanna hose it down. And put even more water on the inside of these babies. Each time you add water into these barrels, you wanna add a little bit more than you did the time before. So that you clear out all of that soap. One more wash. It's all ready, it's ready to be filled. Don't use hose water. I'm just telling you right now, don't use hose water. It's, when it sits in the heat, it doesn't taste good. And it's, the hoses have been known to have lead in them. And when the hose is sitting out in the heat, the lead sinks into the water and a little bit of lead is in the water. So you don't want to fill it up with hose water. This is where I'm going to be placing the drums, one right there and one right there where those bricks are. But right now it's, uh, it's crazy bumpy, so I'm just going to level it out real quick. Alright, what this is, I've just leveled the ground and then I've placed a couple bricks because I, I read on the internet uh, multiple sites that if you put your barrels straight on the ground on concrete or dirt or anything, they are going to get leaked into. Like, toxins could squeeze through the plastic and get into your water. And you don't want that happening. So you could use cardboard, a pallet, anything that'll raise it off the ground. I'm just using four little bricks here. But just, you wanna raise it off the ground. They're finally sitting here on top of the bricks. I've just kicked some dirt under there for extra stabilization. And these aren't gonna move. You want to make sure that they're not going to move. These are not filled up yet. I'm going to fill them up uh, tomorrow, I think. But once you place your barrels, you want to place your barrels where you're going to keep them for the next five years or so. Because once these are filled up with water, they're going to weigh uh, anywhere in between 400 to 500 pounds. So I think these are going to be here for the next five years or so and then I'll probably replace the water but yeah thanks for watching and remember why survive when you can thrive